Hey y'all, it's Christy Cook with Tea Dottles. Um, if you saw the title of this and you watched my episode number 22, you know what this episode is about, mostly. <laughs> um, first, I would like to say welcome new subscribers. I've had lots of new subscribers recently and I really appreciate that. And welcome back subscribers. I really love having y'all along on my maker adventures um i consider this a maker channel this is not my podcast i'll be doing that tomorrow but um yeah so i'd like to make things of all sorts but this particular video today is all about the yarn y'all all about the yarn it's yarn i um had said in my episode number 22 when I hit 500 subscribers which I did very exciting it's sitting right at 500 now yesterday it had dropped to 4.99 it's the 100 and subscribe I guess I don't know but it's back at 500 so we're gonna go ahead and do this <laughs> but I had received extra yarn from Hershner's um, because of a glitch a computer glitch is what they called it so i had an extra bag of yarn so i'd said i would give that away for my 500 subscriber gift and that is what i'm going to do i'm going to show it to you one more time actually i'm going to show you the bag that you would receive if you won the giveaway and then i'm going to show you some other yarny fun yarny things i have going on okay the first thing i want to do is a public service announcement i posted it on my facebook page yesterday uh, in case you missed it DollarTree.com has several types of yarn for a dollar because it's Dollar Tree, y'all. Um, yes, they are an affiliate of mine on the blog, a new affiliate. Um, so any links I post below will be an affiliate link. But that is a screaming good deal. They have Premier Cotton in three different colors. You do have to order a minimum of six skeins. Um... If you order the case, which I think is $36 or $24, that would make it $36 or $24, but you get $24 or $36 skeins, you can have it shipped to your store for free, no extra charge. You can order as little as six skeins and have it shipped to your store for free. And it will say it's going to charge you a handling fee, but that's usually less than a dollar, y'all. So, still a good deal. If you don't want a huge quantity, you can get a smaller quantity. So, they have... Three colors of Premier Cotton. They have four different colors of Red Heart Unforgettable Waves. Looks like a very pretty yarn. I've never used that one. They had some really pretty colorways. And then they have two colors of the Red Heart Boutique Ribbons, which I've worked with that before. It's, I've never actually crocheted it. I hand crocheted it because it's like a, it looks like a ribbon, but it's got little sections or pieces in it or something like that. So it's like a, it's like a novelty yarn. So, um, but, so you may want to go check that out. All of them, the least quantity you have to order is six. So if you haven't, I know some people have seen some yarn in their Dollar Tree stores, which I haven't checked mine yet. Hmm. But I think some people even saw the Fettuccine yarn from Lime Brand in their Dollar Trees. So you may want to check your store as well. But if you don't have it in your store, you can go online and that's, they, that's what they have online. And I will be dropping that link down below. So that's my public surface announcement about yarn for this Yarnapalooza episode. And now I'm going to show you the prize bag. And it is a bag. This is the prize bag for my 500 subscriber giveaway. Um, this is just a big drawstring organza bag. It's actually one that it came from warehouse wool so it says warehouse wool on the ribbon or wool where wool warehouse i'm sorry it's backward. that's from the united kingdom so this it's not like a fancy bag but it's a pretty decent bag did come from the uk so um this had the yarn in it for my moorland afghan that i finally finished so, I decided to put everything for the giveaway in this bag. Um, I will put it in something else to ship it, y'all. I'm not going to ship it like this. <laughs> that would not be good. All right, let's open it up and see what's inside. I'm sure y'all hear a jingle bell jingling. So, 
I put, yes, this is a Christmas pouch. It's the only one I had left from my Christmas bags this past uh, Christmas time. So I decided to put it in the giveaway. This is just a little maker pouch. Um, I'm sorry about that jingle bell. I'm gonna take it. That's the zipper pull is a jingle, jingle bell. Come on. Well, you, can, you know what a jingle bell looks like. I'm gonna take it off. Well, okay, let's just look at it. I'm gonna try not to jingle it. So it has these reindeer. Yeah, they're kind of sideways because <laughs> I was using leftovers, but it is a quilted pouch. Um, it has a nylon zipper and it's just got a basic lining. These were some of the first ones I did. Got a little ribbon tab to hang things on. It's got my T-Doddles label in there. This is not focusing, is it? Oh, sorry. Got my big old hand in the way. There we go. Got my T-Doddles label in it. So, so this is one of my first pouches that I did. And this has got the tapered sides on it. And the box bottom. So it's a nice size pouch. You can fit crochet hooks and circular knitting needles in it. Um... Because now I do them where they come up straight and they have the little tab ends. But, so, this was the only one I had left that was Christmas size. I had to put it in here. So, that will be in the giveaway bag. Next, let's see. Whoop. I put two of these Amigurumi kits from Darn Good Yarn in here. I caught a flash sale on them for $5 each. And I bought each one. So, I put the two that I thought I would that I like the that I would be less likely to do because I don't have I like unicorns but I don't have anyone to give a unicorn to really so this is the unicorn kit and then I also put the box kit in here so these kits have all the yarn stuffing and a darning needle for you to make uh, make the pattern and it does have a knit and crochet pattern in here so you could you could do one or the other i don't think you can do both of them yeah you you just can get it do knit well it says knit and crochet so i'm not sure i've opened one of these to see is it if anybody knows let me know um so yeah that will be in there i also put this is a pom-pom kit I already had one which I haven't used so I put my second one in here uh, this has everything you need to do to make two pom-poms has some faux fur pieces a little bit of stuffing a needle which is what's in that little tube thing uh, and a snap snaps for pom-poms for hats so that's going in there and now the yarn okay so I had told y'all that I probably would and this is what I did since I had two bags of the same eight colors and I had eight different colors, I paired up two so you would have two colors, two of each color. You still get eight skeins of yarn, but then you have two of each color instead of one of each color. I thought that would be better for me and for y'all, the ones that I kept. I'd have two of each and y'all would have two of each. Whoever wins would have two of each, okay? So these are the colors I put in the bag. You get two of these. These are candy shop. Uh, sweet rolls. Um, this is the colorway taffy. So you get two of those. Those are totally different centers, but that is the same colorway. So let me make sure it's focusing on the yarn. There we go. So, I don't think, yeah. So you get two of those. I did put two purples in here, but one purple. You get two nerds. Nerds. I love nerds. The candy and the things. And that, I don't think any of these have matching centers or anything, but I felt like the two purples, you could possibly do a project together. So you have two each color and the purples. And then I did more neutral colors. This one is called Nico Wafer. So 
So you get two of these. I don't know why that's focusing and still. There we go. So that's kind of got blues and tans and cream in it. I actually really liked that one, but I had to decide on my favorites. <laughs> and then the last two are darker neutrals. Or darker more neutral. But I thought they would you could still potentially use them with you know. Y'all get something from me and has dog hair on it. I apologize. I try to get it all off. I try to protect it. My dogs. I swear. So if you are allergic to dogs, you may not want this yarn. Um Twix. This one's called Twix. There we go. So this has got darker blues and kind of a chocolate brown color in it. So I felt like you could potentially, well, I can't hold those all four together, but these, I felt like these went together really well. You could potentially make a project with all four of these. You get two of each color. And then I felt like these would possibly go together. They kind of do. They're kind of, you know, you could make something with that. So, you get two of each of those. So, that is what's in the giveaway. You get the eight skeins of Candy Shop yarn. You get the two Amigurumi kits, a fox and the unicorn. A pom-pom kit. And one of my maker pouches. It is a Christmas maker pouch, but... Christmas comes every year, y'all. So, <laughs> um, and it does come with this. This is a charm, so it has the lobster claw, so you could uh, take it off and use it as a stitch marker as well, if you don't mind the jingling all the time. But that's what's in the giveaway. I think that's pretty good for a 500 subscriber giveaway. And now I, I had said before that the yarn I got technically was free because I, I ordered it through Hershner's. I'd ordered eight skeins of, in different colors because I wanted to see what the colors looked like uh, because they had a sale for $2.99 a skein. And for some reason, they sent me a second shipment with the same amount of yarn in it. And when I called them about it, they said it was a, a computer glitch. So, and they also did ask that I could potentially donate or, you know, the extra yarn, which I feel like give, doing a giveaway is a sort of donation. Uh, so, <laughs> I, I felt like it could go to someone who really would enjoy it. Um, I could have certainly just kept it, but y'all, I've got so much yarn, it's ridiculous. I gotta quit ordering yarn. Squishy. Anyway, so plus you get this little drawstring organza bag, which it lasted. I toted it around for a long time. It's pretty decent. I went and eh, it's kind of cool because it came from the UK. It's got a ribbon. So there we go. So um, I'm gonna take a sip of water. This down. So that is the prize. And to enter, I usually ask y'all to answer a question so I know that people are paying attention to my video. Um, I will tell the question at the end of the video because I want to show y'all some other stuff first. Uh, it, it does involve yarn still. Um, let's see. This is, hmm, I gotta think about that. Yeah. This is open worldwide so you have the potential to win this even if you live in another country this is going to be a heavy one y'all so shipping will be quite expensive but I will yeah yeah I won't be able to do track shipping if it's an international winner um, as long as they allow me to ship it to you uh, and if you are uh, have any duties or anything that come on it or that you are responsible for that I'm not responsible for that I do try to it always asks you for the price of it so I try to put the price 
below what the maximum is because usually most countries have a price you can list the value at that will keep it from having those duties and fees um, which is okay I mean it's I'd rather not anybody have to pay extra if they don't have to but so yeah I feel like I need to go over that again did I say it right yeah <laughs> you have it's open worldwide I will tell you a question at the end of this video you have to answer in the comments down below to be qualified to win it is um, anybody if it goes to an international winner you are responsible for any duties and taxes um, and I will try to keep that from happening by putting a different value on it so uh, also I feel like I was gonna say something else and I don't know what it is okay let's look at this other yarn right quick okay <laughs> I know y'all want to hear what the question is. Y'all can fast forward this. You know you can. You don't have to listen to the rest of this. But anyway. Alright. First, I want to talk about my Lion Brand uh, yarn haul. Uh, I got an email a while back. Because uh, it took a long time to get this. And it said it could take longer because it was such a great deal. And that's okay. They said, 10 skeins, 10, 10 skeins of yarn for $10. So I had to check that out. That's a dollar skein, y'all. They had some homespun. They had some hometown USA. They did have some fun fur and novelty yarn, which I wasn't really interested in. But it was only certain colorways. Um, and it happened to be some that I liked. So I got some. I'm going to show you. I didn't bring all of it in here because I ordered. You had to put a quantity of 10 in to get for it to qualify. So if you wanted 10 of this one, 10 of that one. 10 of that so I got 10 of four different yarns right so it did cost me I want to say $15 to ship this but it was such a great deal that wasn't too bad because that was a lot of yarn that's 40 skeins <laughs> 40 skeins of yarn y'all ridiculous anyway uh let me show you what I got uh in hometown USA I got this chocolate billings yeah, it's just a what is that on there? Oh, fuzz everyone. It's just a nice chocolatey squishy yarn. This is a number six yarn, hundred percent acrylic, five ounces, um eighty one yards or hundred and forty two grams, seventy four meters. So not a lot of yardage on it, but for a dollar, yeah. So I got ten of these. And then I also got ten of this El Paso autumn which i really love the colors i couldn't tell the colors on that i love the colors on that but these two actually really go together great so i may make a blanket with these so i have 10 of this one as well a blanket or potential cardigan um hold on a second y'all okay i had to go let my dog in um, but I'm thinking I have 10 skeins of each, so I could potentially make two probably sweaters, big chunky sweaters, or one big blanket. So I don't know yet, but that's what I got from the Hometown USA yarn. So now let's look at the homespun yarn. This first one is Harvest, which I love the colors of, no. Look at those colors. It just screams autumn. So that is an appropriate name. Well, it says harvest, but it's still, I love the colors in this. More than when I saw it. Sometimes online, the colors don't look as rich, but this is a number five acrylic. This is 98% acrylic and 2% other fiber. Um, six ounces, 170 grams. 185 yards or 165 meters. So, and like I said, number five bulky. I love, I love homespun. People usually either love this or hate it because it's, <laughs> it's a textured yarn, but I love working with this. Um, I actually have a cardigan made out of a green version of this. Um, and I've made several things with this, but that, I got 10 of those. And then I got 10 of this. Y'all, this is my, one of my favorite homespun colorways this is gemstone stripes 
and you can just see I don't think that's the color of that that's too much purple but but this does fade from a purpley blended with the gray to the pink onto the gray and it has that pink thread throughout yeah so it crochet it just makes a beautiful yarn so I knew I would get this because I have a hard time finding this anymore I had like one little bit left over there because I've made a hat for my my stepdaughter for Christmas and uh yeah so that is what I got from my brand so that was a pretty good deal I got all of these 40 bucks plus shipping. Yeah. So if you ever see one of those coupons, you need to check it out because I, I added it up. This is $7.99 skein no, normally on Line Brand. This is like $5.99 a skein on the, at Line Brand. So I saved over $200 at Line Brand prices. At Walmart prices, I still save like $150, $170. I calculated it all, but I don't have that paper with me. So, so that was a screaming deal. Mm hmm. So next, let's see. I'll show these next. These are Lime Brand yarns as well, but I actually got them at Joann's. I went to Joann's with my mother last Saturday. We kind of hung out and did some shopping for Mother's Day. Um, and they had their cupcakes on sale for two for eight dollars. So um, I got two of each, two of two different colorways that I really loved. Um, and I also ran into a lovely lady named Pat. Um, she may be watching this. I don't know. Focus seems like it's off. Okay. Um, I had a nice conversation in the yarn owl when we were both looking at the cupcakes. Um, so, hey, Pat, if you're watching. It was nice talking to you. Um, but I love cupcakes, both the cupcake yarn and real cupcakes. So, these are the colors I got. I got two each of the street lights, which I really love this colorway. That yellow, aqua, and gray blend. Now I love the speckles. That's one of the reasons I buy this yarn, but I have noticed. Yeah. I love that speckling on the yarn right there. Uh, I had a hard time finding another one with speckles. So, I don't know what's going on with that. I, I like the speckles. So, then I also got Seabreeze, which I really love this colorway. It's got this coral color and aqua and white. This one really had some good speckling on it. Look at that. I love that. So, I got two, two each of those. Um, that's $4 each. That's a pretty good price on those. Um, cause they don't sell these at my Walmart, so I can only get them at Joann's or online. So I got those two, but I'm hoping they're not doing away with the speckling because I like the speckling. That's why I buy the yarn, but I've noticed cause, um, I got some cupcakes or Mandela baby. It has speckling in it too. And they didn't have, one of them had no speckles at all. So I hope they're not doing away with that cause that's what I love. All right, and last but not least, these two bags of yarn came from Premier Yarn. Um, they always have mystery bags, and it changes up what they have in it. Well, this these were twelve dollars a bag. You get was it five skeins? Yeah, they're merino blend meal ends though. Uh, they're sixty five percent merino, ninety or thirty percent nylon, and five percent cashmere. So it is, let me this bag. You get a total of 17 and a half ounces or 500 grams, 938, 930 yards. Um, and it was $12 for this. So that's a really good deal. But the only thing is you don't get to pick the colors. So they had four different colors. They had a chocolate brown, a white, a golden yellow, and like a dusty blue tilly or I call it antique blue. That's what I call it. So, I was quite excited with the two I got. Because I got the golden yellow and the dusty blue, which were my favorite colors. 
So, yeah. And now this yarn is very soft because it's a blend. It has the cashmere in it. But for $12, you get five skeins. So, yeah. Four skeins would make it $3 a, a skein. So, it was less than $3 a skein. And then I got the... I got two bags. I had a five dollar gift card, like you get the points from ordering and stuff, so I used that towards and it kind of almost paid for the shipping. Look at that. Look at those I love the colors together. I love them together. And it's so soft. This is a worsted weight yarn. These are millions. But like I said, it's 65% merino wool. 30% nylon and 5% cashmere. Such a soft. I'm looking for, I'm going to be making, I'm going to make me a nice sweater where I fade from one color to the other. I, I think that's what I'm going to do with this. So I was excited to see that I got those colors. Because the chocolate brown would have been okay too. I really didn't want the white though. I don't, I wouldn't want a white sweater. I'm a very white lady already, even though I'm wearing white today. Uh, plus, I'm messy. Messy, messy. So, I would get stains on it if it's white. Like this shirt here. It'll get a stain on it eventually. This is a new shirt I got. It says, find your way. <laughs> it was like $7 at JCPenney's. Uh, I did buy one other shirt that was cheap at Ross when we went shopping. But I didn't buy because I've got... Oh, I've got so much fabric over here. I'm tending to make me some clothes. Okay, I can't get that clothes right now. I'm not going to fool with it. Alright. So. Showing you all my yarn I bought recently. Crazy. Don't worry. In my podcast, I will have... I do have a yarn club to show you and what I've been working on with my knitting and crochet. Um, plus, I have fabric to show you in my podcast. So. Let's see, what question do I want to ask so you could win? Um, I think I'll ask, what is your favorite thing to make? No matter what, because I do making of all kinds, no matter what medium it's in, what is your favorite thing to make? Um, whether you knit, crochet, sew, do DIY projects, what is your absolute favorite thing to make? That's what I'd like to know in the comments. And if you answer that question, you'll be entered to win this fabulous prize bag full of yarn and yarn and a bag. <laughs> so, just answer that question down below and you'll be entered to win. I think I'm going to leave this one open for two weeks. So, I won't announce a winner next week, but the week after. It'll be my, not next week's podcast, not tomorrow's podcast or next week's podcast but the podcast after that which would be no I don't have a calendar I do have a calendar let me let me look at this right here let me see let me see what day potentially is that so that is let's see this is oh so like June 1st June 1st that will be when I announce the winner, June 1st. That's two weeks from tomorrow. So, if you want to win this big bag of awesomeness, uh, just let me know what you like. What's your favorite thing to make down below, okay? If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Think about subscribing. Um, I'm very excited to have 500 subscribers. That's awesome. It's kind of hard to believe, but super exciting. Um... And today, I'm going to go, that's why I have my little, I put my makeup on and did my hair, even though I really need a haircut. My hair is getting out of control. Um, they have a food truck thing event going on in my town today. We have lots of food trucks. So, I'm going there later today. I'm excited about that. And they have a cupcake truck, y'all. What did I say before? I love cupcakes. It's your own personal little cake fabulous so i'm definitely going to be checking that truck out <laughs> so i'll tell y'all more about it in my podcast tomorrow um i hope y'all having a wonderful weekend and i will see y'all next time bye